Hi everybody, welcome to Universe View Odyssey channel. Bohr Einstein debates 2. The Photon Box, Einstein Box, Thought Experiment, Quantum Odyssey 15 Einstein and Bohr walking in Brussels in 1930 at the 6th Solvay Conference. Einstein is relaxed as if he was sure of victory, but Bohr is nervous. Photographed by Einstein's close friend, Paul Ehrenfest. At the 6th Solvay Conference in 1930, Einstein presented a second thought experiment that refuted quantum mechanics. The target of attack was again the uncertainty principle. Of course, the ultimate purpose was to reveal the incompleteness of quantum mechanics. Einstein's argument Einstein once again came up with a thought experiment that sparked genius. Einstein's thought experiment of 1930 is designed by Bohr. Einstein's box, photon box, was supposed to prove the violation of the uncertainty relation between time and energy. Imagine a box like the picture above. There is one small hole in the box, which can be opened and closed through the shutter. And the time interval between opening and closing that shutter is controlled by a clock inside the box. Since the box is connected by an extremely sensitive spring, the change in mass can be measured by reading the scale. Einstein's argument is as follows. Fill the box full of photon and weigh the box. Open the shutter for a short time t, long enough for one photon to escape the box, then close it. Then weigh the box again. One photon has a specific energy, E equals h nu, Planck's constant h times the frequency nu and the effective mass of one photon can be calculated according to the E equals mc squared formula. Therefore, when one photon exits the box, the weight of the box is reduced by that much. Einstein's argument is this. We can accurately weigh the box. Therefore, the box's mass or energy uncertainty delta E, is zero. However, the uncertainty of the time taken for this change delta T is T, which is finite. Therefore, the product of time uncertainty and energy uncertainty, delta E delta T, is zero. Such a result does not satisfy the uncertainty principle that the product of the energy change and the time change, which are complementary physical quantities, must be greater than the value of Planck's constant. So the uncertainty principle is wrong. The expression of the uncertainty principle for position and momentum, delta x delta p is greater than or equal to h is converted to the expression for the uncertainty principle for time and energy, delta e delta t is greater than or equal to h, with a little mathematical manipulation. Einstein was confident of his victory with this same argument. Bohr's collaborator, Leon Rosenfeld, described the situation as follows. It was a real shock for Bohr, who, at first, could not think of a solution. For the entire evening he was extremely agitated, and he continued passing from one scientist to another, seeking to persuade them that it could not be the case, that it would have been the end of physics if Einstein were right, but he couldn't come up with any way to resolve the paradox. I will never forget the image of the two antagonists as they left the club. Einstein, with his tall and commanding figure, who walked tranquilly, with a mildly ironic smile, and Bohr who trotted along beside him, full of excitement. The morning after saw the triumph of Bohr.
Bohr's response. Bohr couldn't sleep all night and was engrossed in finding answers. At last dawn inspiration crossed his mind. It was none other than Einstein's general theory of relativity. Bohr began by thinking clearly about the process of weighing a box. Einstein said that he could accurately measure the time the photon was emitted and the weight of the box before and after the photon was emitted. Bohr precisely dug the loophole of the passage. He drew a picture of Einstein's photon box thought experiment and refuted Einstein's argument as follows. A drawing drawn by Bohr after analyzing the photon box thought experiment proposed by Einstein to Bohr at the 6th Solvay conference in 1930. The diagram on the right is a simplified diagram to make it easier to understand. According to the uncertainty principle, we must admit the existence of the uncertainty of the position of the measurement point at delta Q, which dictates the weight of the box. And the uncertainty of the momentum of the box delta P, which is a physical quantity complementary to this. In order to obtain the information of delta P, the mass of the box must be measured. But there is a limit to its accuracy, that is, the uncertainty delta M. Therefore, the relationship GT delta M is greater than or equal to delta P, GT delta M delta Q is greater than or equal to H, holds, G is the gravitational constant. This is where Bohr's final blow comes in. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, gravitational fields change the rate of passage of time. After the photons inside the box are emitted, the weight of the box is reduced. Because the box is in a gravitational field and the spring in the box is moving, since the scale changes, the speed of the clock hands inside the box also changes. Delta Q causes the time interval uncertainty delta T. The momentum uncertainty delta P of the box is linked to the energy uncertainty delta E. From GT delta M is greater than or equal to delta P, the expression delta E delta T is greater than or equal to H can be derived. That is, the uncertainty principle holds. Einstein's argument is fallacious. By the redshift formula, the uncertainty of time delta T equals GT delta Q C squared delta E equals C squared delta M. And so delta E delta T equals GT delta Q delta M equals GT delta M delta Q is greater than or equal to H. We have therefore proven the claimed delta E delta T is greater than or equal to H. The simple explanation of Bohr's argument as above is as follows. Einstein said that it was possible to accurately measure the change in the energy of the box over a certain time interval. But Bohr argued that when a photon is emitted, energy change, the gravitational field changes and the time interval also changes, so the uncertainty principle still holds between the complementary physical quantities of energy and time. It seems obvious that to accurately weigh the box, i.e., to reduce the uncertainty of the pointer delta Q on the measurement panel, the time interval T between each photon emission must be long.
Einstein had no choice but to accept Bohr's argument. Again, Bohr succeeded in defending against Einstein's attack, and Einstein was defeated. However, Einstein did not admit that the uncertainty principle and quantum theory were complete. On the contrary, he only resolved to develop a more sophisticated argument. Sure enough, five years after this in 1935, Einstein along with his colleagues Podolsky and Rosen published a powerful argument, EPR, against quantum theory in the United States. Thanks for watching. You can read this story in Injury Time, injurytime.kr.